Hello reformers and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband. Now, when we left off we were attempting to take Kirin Castle. We actually did survive and complete our goal in taking Kirin Castle, but now King Ragnar is deciding to besiege it and as you can see I've actually just made my way over here because personally I don't really want to spend my time trying to defeat a guy with almost 300 units when I could be spending my time doing other things like defeating the fellows at Yelbegi Castle. And uh, for example, Emir Galad is here. He's attempting to take this. And he only has 59, so this should be pretty easy. You know, it should be a pretty easy defense. And this is basically just a sort of passing fancy to me because what I'd like to do is basically destroy Lord Tarchius. This is our quest in this episode. Our quest in this episode is given to me, the Vengeance Master. Uh, I have no idea. I just gave myself that title literally on the spot. Just thought of it right now. But anyway, the point is, what I'm going to try to do is destroy Lord Tarchius's livelihood, basically. I'm just going to make sure that he has a really, really bad time because he backstabbed us. You know, he backstabbed us after we trusted him, and that is really sad. That is really, really sad. So we're going to try and do the very best that we can to make sure that all of his fiefs get returned to their rightful owner, which is, of course, the Kingdom of Reformia. So we're going to try and do that, and if we can, we're going to try and defeat Tarchius himself as well. Uh, it seems like there's just a number of archers left. So we're going to have to wait for our crossbowmen to do their work, or for the very least, to them um, to come over here. And I just sneezed as well. Sneeze alert. Yep. <laughs> anyway, come on. Can you can you just kill him? Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right. So can you can you actually just ah? Uh, there we go. Everyone's dead. Fantastic. So we're going to be doing quite a lot of, shall we say, lightning fast decisions and lightning fast action here because well as fast as mountain blade can be anyway we're going to very much try to be as quick as possible in our decisions so yelbegi castle goodbye yes we're done here uh boy our atis hello there you're you're attempting to be a bit annoying too aren't you sir yes apparently you are so i'm going to be attempting to kill you as quickly as i can now here's the thing what i'm going to need to do is i'm going to need to swap most of my cavalry into the higher positions on in my army so that we can actually make actual lightning fast combat actions shall we say because at the moment we don't have any kind of speedy resolution to any kind of combat scenario at the moment because literally we have archers and archers we know, you know, they're pretty slow. You know, they're pretty slow to sort of get into action and everything. I'm actually just going to tell everyone to charge in. I personally don't feel like Emir... Emir Atis? No, actually, he used to be a Saranid. That's why I said Emir, hilariously enough. But yes, anyway, the point is... This kind of thing would probably be already won if we had... You know, a couple more cavalry in the initial charge. So, yeah, I'm probably going to try and do something like that. I'm probably going to try and get a bunch of cavalry. Maybe just swap my Kurgit Lancers into a higher spot on the army list. And then we'll be able to just get those in here doing some good damage. And that will be that. I think that would be pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, just look at that. They, they really don't have anything. They can't deal with what's going on here, you know? They just can't deal with it. And it's hilarious because there's only 12 cavalry on the fields of battle at the moment. So, yeah, it's just because they're so low level, you know? That's the reason why I was just like, yeah, we're going to eliminate this guy as soon as possible. But, yeah, other than this, this is the Quest for Tarchius episode. And we're going to try to find him wherever he may be. I would assume he's probably lavishing around, just lounging around in Halma or wherever. Probably one of his fiefs. And we're going to try and track him down and make him pay for what he's done to the Kingdom of Reformia. And of course, for making the sort of lower regions of Calradia a different color. Because technically, we are the red color and the Nords are a baby blue color. So obviously, we want that to be a little bit resolved as well. Can you kill that final person, please? 
Where is he? Ah, there he is. Get him. Get that insolent fool. Yes. Uh, why? Yeah, I, I don't really know whether I need to insult him because he's about to die, but still. There we go. Nice. All right. So we're done there. Unfortunately, he did manage to escape, which is a big, big, big shame. I actually would have appreciated taking him prisoner, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so let's see what we can do now. Okay, so technically I could stop by at Kelradan Castle and take that. I don't believe there's too many units in there. Let's actually just take a look and see. There's 106. Uh, 106. Do you have any Huskars? They have one Huskar, seven veteran archers, 15 regular veterans. Are you a siege tower? Yes, you are. Nope, I'm sorry. That's a little bit too slow for my liking. This is a lightning fast episode. We're going to try and make sure that we get a lot done. You know, a lot done. So defeating as many vassals as we can get, taking as many castles as we can get, and basically just trying to make hell for our enemies. You know, make sure that they know the name of King Barney. Yes. And Dirtios Castle is still being besieged by numerous people. So thankfully, you know, it seems like it's distracting the enemy quite a lot. And that's exactly what we like to see. Okay, so Anuzdak Castle, you have 57. Oh my, I feel sorry for Anuzdak Castle. And this is a ladder castle as well. We've lost Kirin Castle, that's absolutely fine. I really don't mind about that too much because, again, it is going to be very, very weak in terms of its garrison, so I can take that back in no time at all. It's going to be very easy to take that back. Anyway, let's go in here, and ah, it's this layout. Oh, okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Okay, so we have 35 archers. Might as well make the most of them, and we're going to just place them on the outside here. I know I said lightning fast, but we kind of have to be a little bit tactical with our, our with our crossbowmen here. We can't just allow our infantry and cavalry to charge in willy-nilly, can we? No, we can't allow them to do that. So instead, we're going to capitalize on the efficiency that where you know that our archers give us, and it's also going to enable us to you know hopefully head on to another fief after this because we will have minimal casualties. That is the plan at the very least. Let's just see whether we can, well, make it our reality, I suppose. Kill them, yes. Kill that as well. Can I kill that? Maybe. Are you trying to shoot me? Is he? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know whether he was trying to shoot me or not, but it doesn't really matter because we killed him. And there's one of those guys. There's one of those. There we go. Let's kill that guy as well. Anyone else? Anyone else want a piece? Anyone? Ah, oh, this guy wants a piece. All right, you're gonna get a piece. Or, or maybe not. Maybe you're just gonna get a piece of my axe. Yes, a piece of my axe. Hello. What's going on here? Okay, not much. Are you? Are you serious? Are you? Are you? Wow. Are you really serious? Okay, you are serious. You're very, very serious. Okay. Well. <laughs> That tells me off, doesn't it? That tells me off for taunting them just in front of them, doesn't it? Okay, well, I'm going to tell my infantry and cavalry to charge in. We've already eliminated 33, and they only have 24 remaining, so this should be a trivial matter, if anything. And then we'll be able to head on to the nearby Halmar. Now, I know that... Uh, I, I know that Lord Play is currently having a couple of problems... I'm not, I don't even know, you know, what kind of problems. I just know that he is not liking us so much. Maybe he ran out of sliced bread or whatever the case may be. But we certainly want to make sure that he is either appeased or he's either lynched, basically. We want to make sure that he is not going to be around for, uh, for too much longer. Or if, you know, or if we do want him to stay around, that we, you know, try to schmooze with him as much as we can but obviously I don't know whether that's worth it to be honest I don't know whether schmoozing with him is a good idea because if you think about it I mean right now he's at I think minus 20 something and if we were to give him let's say we were to give him a castle how much would he gain from that he'd probably gain 
I don't know, maybe 10 relation. So he's still in the minuses. He's still in a really, really bad position. So I'm not entirely sure if we are going to do that or if we're just going to indict him. I mean, it might just be the only option for us. And it's a bit sad, really, because Lord Play is one of the first vassals that joined us initially. And I thought that it would be really, really cool to sort of keep the originals around. But if it's going to result in them leaving and taking their towns and castles with them, then I would much prefer not to do that. Thank you very much. Yes, much prefer not to do that. So let's have a look. Going to give this to Lord Roucher, I guess. He is almost at 100 relation. Oh, he is at 100 relation. Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic because apparently, according to some of you, if you take a vassal to 100 relation, then they no longer decay. They no longer lose relation when you give something to someone. So I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, oh wow, Dirtios Castle has been besieged by King Yaroglek himself. I didn't think Dirtios Castle was such a big deal, but apparently a lot of people really, really want that piece of real estate. Interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Hmm. Not really, but still. I think it's quite interesting that a lot of people are deciding that they want to take that, even though it's in my opinion, quite an unimportant castle, but maybe the AI is having some weird thoughts about it. Maybe it's just like, if I take this castle, then I could have the world, you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, maybe that's what's going on in its head. Perhaps we have literally no Swedian sergeants anymore. Look at that. We've only got two. I used to have, what, 40? And now I've got two. So, yes, rather amusing. All right, so we're pretty much in high spirits. We're in high spirits, we're in high HP values, and now is as good a time as any to reclaim Halmar. Let's see how many they have. 143. Ah, Jarl Tarchius is here. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, yes. How the tables have turned, you traitor. Yes, we're going to try and eliminate him. All right. Oh, no. It's this one. It's this one. I really do not like this particular layout either. It seems like I'm I'm basically becoming one of those people that is just like, oh, yeah, I'm absolutely fine with most castle layouts. And then 50 episodes later, it's like, oh, I hate this one, and I hate this one, and I hate that one, and I hate this one. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, it's probably the way it's going to go. But yeah, anyway, hopefully our crossbowmen are going to do a good job here. I don't know. Maybe I should get out my bow and see if I can do a little bit. Maybe I can help them out somewhat. Yes, headshots. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else? Ah, there's one over there. See if I can take that guy out a little bit. Come on. Yes, nice headshot. Nice headshot. All right. Can I get a little bit more, please? A little bit. Yes, there we go. I'd like a little bit more weapon proficiency as well, if at all possible, so I, I don't really mind. I mean, just give me the weapon proficiency and I'll leave you alone. Yes. <laughs> all right, so I think... How many do they have here? 141? So they have about 170 with Lord Tarchius's units. So I'm going to tell my cavalry and infantry to charge in here, because I think I can contribute a lot of damage if I can get into melee. So... If, personally, Barney can get into melee, I think we will have a much, much greater chance of achieving a victory. But obviously, it really depends if I'm able to get past all of these units. Okay, come on. Kill them all. Yeah, kill that guy. Okay, no, don't kill him, apparently. Oh, 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 okay. I actually thought I was being chased there for a second. But apparently not. Good. Very good. Oh, yes, the Rodox. They always have those very weird one-handed weapons that look like they are just fashioned out of some random wooden pole or whatever. But anyway, let's just kill these guys from behind because that's what we like to do. We like to pound from behind. Oh, actually, I thought we had a thought we had a hammer. So that's why I was saying pound, but all right. We don't really have a thrusting weapon either, which is a bit of a shame, but I kind of prefer not thrusting because well, it's a bit more difficult, you know, it's a bit harder. <laughs> it's a bit harder to use. <laughs> yeah, the innuendo, the innuendo, really. Okay, so come on, let's let's just kill those. 
Oh my. That is a Mamluk if ever I saw one. Kill it, please. Thank you. Is that Lord Tartius? I think that might be Lord Tartius, that guy with the two-handed sword. Is it? Maybe it is. If he kills me, I will not be able to let this let this go. So I'm going to try and shoot him in the face. No, it's a Swadian Knight. Wow, crazy. The Swadian Knight looked very, very... Well, shall we say... Intimidating. Okay, so now here's the issue. Have we... Uh, oh, we've eliminated quite a few, but I would have I would have appreciated to like end this in one fell swoop. But apparently my infantry and cavalry had a different idea. They are deciding to do things slightly differently. Okay. Oh, wow. They have a lot of Swadian knights. Can I, can I pick up some arrows? Well, these guys are all using bolts, aren't they? So obviously that's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go in here and face my destiny. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew. As soon as I went in there against that Swadian knight, I knew he had my number. Ah, oh well, never mind. We do gain a pretty decent amount of morale right there. Seven deaths. I can live with that. No problem. No problem at all. But of course, we did have a bunch of wounded instead, thanks to Jeremus's surgery. So, I think next time we're going to be dealing with Halmar and we're probably also... We might also try and take Ahun Castle. I'm not entirely sure just yet. And Dirtios Castle is continuing to switch hands. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.